Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome to McDonald's. So, let's get down to brass tacks. Here, this place is a classic. So let's start with the McDonald's cheeseburger. Shall we? They really... So it's ketchup, onions, a little bit of mustard, pickles, very thin patty. It doesn't seem that uh, they've put much thought into improving this cheeseburger in a long time. It's such an overwhelming, uh, the first couple bites, it's so overwhelmingly bready. Zero beef flavor. Um, until you start getting into the middle and you start getting a little mustard, ketchup, and the, and the onion. And then it, you have that traditional McDonald's taste. But um, even if it's a dollar, it, it tastes like a dollar. They really taste like a dollar. And things that taste like a dollar aren't good. So uh, let's, let's move on. This is the traditional McChicken. It's a mayo bomb. Um, I personally like the spices in this chicken. I just don't like the texture. It's very rubbery. The lettuce is overpowering. Almost has a chemical taste to it. Um, <clears throat> a couple of beers. I could put down a couple of these McChickens though. Uh, The chicken color is gray on the McChicken. Um, gray is good for some things, battleships, um, but for chicken sandwiches, uh, not so much. Let's move on. This is the Swiss onion burger. Very thin. Very, uh, has a very unappetizing look to it. Um, the cheese is paper brittle on the sides. Now, let's see. Don't get that. That bacon, onion, I mean the Swiss onion burger. Don't get that. Do me a favor. Straight up, nah, man. Straight up, nah. It's not good, Carl. Now let's go to the quarter pounder with cheese. Famous quarter pounder with cheese. Signature sesame bun. They were out of shamrock shake, Sal. Quarter pounder with cheese, I think is very good. The meat, like in most McDonald's products, is very dry, um, but greasy at the same time. I don't know how they, what kind of magic they do to do that, but this burger is where it's at. 
the quarter pounder with cheese, it's, it's a nice traditional tasting hamburger. Um, I recommend it. I mean, if, if you're gonna come to McDonald's, so, you know, for whatever reason. The sesame bun, they do it, they do it great. They do it great. I like the sesame bun on the quarter pounder better than the McDonald's sesame buns. I think the sesame buns, at, I mean, at Burger King are, are a little over the top. Quarter pounder cheese, not bad at all. Not bad at all. <clears throat> Let's go now. We're going to try the artisanal grilled chicken sandwich. Well, that has a salad bar on it. So let's uh, let's find out. That's a tasty sandwich. I'm impressed. I'm sorry. That's a nice grilled piece of chicken. It's brined to death, um, but it's moist. Great salt and pepper. The tomato's great. The mock brioche bun is very nice. That is not a bad sandwich, the artisanal grilled chicken sandwich. It's very nice. Let's move to the Big Mac. I think the, I think the Big Mac a couple things are going on here it's a lot of bread and a lot of sauce for the amount of meat that you get which that could be fixed with the Grand Mac and all of those um, the sauce is what really puts the Big Mac uh, into a league of its own it has its own unique flavor and for that, I'm going to give it a lot of credit. Um, the amount of bread is so much that that's why when you're drunk or hungover, it's so good. But eating it sober now, uh, which probably I don't a lot, I'm not sober a lot. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not that good. The meat. It's just odd. When you get the piece of meat by itself, it just has an odd flavor. Almost metallic. Um, the pickles are great, and the and the Big Mac sauce is it's a national it's a national treasure. The Big Mac sauce, so we don't have to worry about that. What's up, man? How are you, sir? Good. Let's move on. To the French fries. Some of the best in the business. Easily some of the best in the business. Salty, great potato flavor. Crispy. You can eat these all day. McDonald's french fries are very, very hard to beat. They're great. And they're always great. That's a beautiful french fry. Perfect. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more. Most chefs would kill to have a french fry like this in their restaurant. Let's move on to the filet of fish. 
probably uh, one of the ugliest uh, offerings that McDonald's has in the history of McDonald's. Fish, cheese, and tartar sauce. Um, if you're a fan of fried frozen fish cakes like Gordon Fisherman stuff, you'll, you'll really like this sandwich. I personally don't like this sandwich. Um, I'm not sure what kind of fish this is, um, but I'm sure this fish volunteered to be caught or probably jumped on the boat and killed itself. Um, it doesn't even smell like fish uh, at all. It doesn't even smell like it's anywhere near the ocean. The tartar sauce is pretty good, though. So, not my not my favorite. And uh, I'm drinking vanilla milkshake. Gold standard. Uh, you can drink a, a McDonald's uh, when the machine's when the machine's not broken. They're very good. The problem with uh, the McDonald's shake um, is the other flavors aren't good. Vanilla is good, but the chocolate milkshake is really not good. So let's move on. We're also going to do an independent uh, review on the Chezwan sauce today. Um, we have every sauce here. So we have chicken nuggets now. Let's find out. Okay. Chicken nuggets. Great color. Coated right. Let's try one in honey mustard. Kinda. Little signature sauce. Barbecue. I really got to think about this. McDonald's did here. But the chicken nugget uh, is, a, is, a, is no small feat. Um, they're the first to introduce something like this and for it to be successful. It has a specific flavor. Everyone's tried to copy it. Everyone's tried to make their own nugget um, from food service to Wendy's to Burger King. Some have gotten close, some have gotten far. Um, but McDonald's still has this flavor. It stays hot for a very strange amount of time. It doesn't taste like chicken. It tastes like itself. It tastes like it's its own thing. It tastes like a chicken nugget. Um, it's as identifiable as a Yankee hat. You know, everyone knows what a chicken nugget tastes like, and, and they're craveable. You crave chicken nugget. And, um, they have this coating on them. It's not necessarily, uh, it's more of a batter than other people are trying to do this breading. It's not breading, it's, it's batter. And it has this underlying paprika taste. It tastes absolutely unique than on the landscape of fast food. A chicken nugget is recognizable by anybody. And a chicken nugget dipped in sweet and sour sauce A 
chicken nugget sweet and sour sauce is beyond reproach. Absolutely beyond reproach. Chicken nugget is the winner here. Let's move on. Congratulations, McDonald's. All right. All right, now we have their new buttermilk um, biscuit. We'll do these. We'll open the hot mustard. We'll open the ranch. Buttermilk biscuit, uh, buttermilk fried chicken. I don't like these at all. This is, I don't like this. It's too crunchy. It's too crunchy. I think the secret recipe, the secret ingredient in this is glass. It's so crunchy, it's so over the top, wanting to be. I recommend against these. I don't doubt, I don't like them at all. I would just get a nugget. I would get a nugget. This is trying too hard. I'm not, I know the, the crunch is the best part, but sometimes it's too much. It's too much crunch. Um, it's just trying too hard. So here, just trying to be, it's trying to fit in too much. Not a fan. Not a fan. We eat everything? Oh, and that's it. So thank you, everybody. Oh, let's talk about the Szechuan sauce that everyone wants to talk to. Talk about. The famous Szechuan sauce. First, we'll try it with French fries. Whoa. What a salt lick. Szechuan sauce, I'm not a fan. So, it's not very balanced. Um, it has a better aftertaste than a taste. Isn't that something? That's the first time I'm like that. You know what is very good? Is the hot mustard sauce. The hot mustard sauce is clutch. Very good. Very good. That's it. Ran out of food. I'm glad you guys joined me. I'm happy you guys are liking these. Remember, it was for a good cause. Um, all the proceeds are going to go to the Alzheimer's. Association. Once I figure out how to monetize it, you got like four thousand hours. It's a little difficult. But um, just to recap, how I McDonald's already had some strong offerings. The chicken nuggets are beyond reproach, and the French fries are pretty close to that too. But uh, they didn't make the cut. Um, thank you, everybody, and bon apple teeth. I don't know how to shut this off. How do you shut it off? Shut it off here. Hmm. I guess you guys just hang out.